This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to install 32 gig of memory into an HP Z230 workstation. In the description of this video, we are going to post a link to our HP Z230 gaming computer blog page. And on this page, we will show you the memory that we installed in this video, as well as a bunch of other hardware upgrade ideas that would be helpful uh, to install into your HP Z230 workstation. Also, at the bottom of this page, we will show you other videos on how to actually install those upgraded components. So check this page out, use it as a resource, and as always, if you have other questions, feel free to comment below. All right, so the Z230 workstation has four memory slots, and it supports a DDR3-12800 memory. Um, you can either do four UDIMs or four EDIMs. Um, so that's 12800U or 12800E. You do not want to mix those modules. Uh, this system will not support 12800R modules, which are registered modules. So make sure that your modules end uh, the, when they when they say 12800 on them. Make sure they either end in a U or an E. Uh, they're also capable of running uh, 10600U or E. Uh, they're just going to clock down to the max speed uh, based off of those memory modules. All right, so it supports a maximum of 32 gig of memory, four eight gig modules, and that's exactly what we are going to install um, as we go through this video. Um, so 32 gig is max, don't mix U or E DIMMs. All right, so here's our Z230 workstation. Uh, this system's going on about six years old now. Uh, and as you can see, we have our four eight gig modules. These are two R by eight PC3 modules. They run at 1.5 volts. And you can see how they say 12800E. So those will work. We have four matching modules uh, so that we don't have any issues uh, with mixing manufacturers. All right, so let's remove our side panel and gain access to the inside of the chassis. All right, so you can see the four memory slots right in the center of the chassis. Uh, so the next step, we are going to open up those slots so that we can basically line up our memory modules with the notch and then we can clip them right into place. So we're going to start by opening up the slots bottom of the top because we're going to populate all four slots. All right, so now let's go ahead and install our modules. As you can see the notch, right? It's kind of left side of this module. So line that up with the system board. And if you do that, it should click right into place. So what we do like to do is just line it up in the slot and then click each side and the module will be installed. So if it doesn't click on each side, that means that notch is probably not lined up. So make sure it clicks on each side um, and don't overpower it because you don't want to damage the motherboard or the memory modules. All right, so we've got all four of our modules installed. We're going to go ahead and put our side panel back on. And so the next step for us is we want to verify that those modules are showing up in the F10 setup. So you can go into the F10 setup by uh, in post, which is the black screen when you turn the computer on, tapping F10 when prompted, it's gonna bring you to this screen. Go ahead and arrow over to system information, hit enter on it, and then you will see uh, your memory. So we, we're seeing all four eight gig modules. They are showing up as 32 gig of RAM total. Uh, running at 1600 megahertz, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Now we boot it into Windows 10. This is kind of a cool CPU ID hardware monitor that will show you the temperature of those modules as well. Uh, but we're going to go into system information, more importantly, and verify that Windows is recognizing all 32 gig of RAM. And as you can see, it's recognizing 32 gig, 31.8 uh, gig usable. Uh, so that's perfect. Um, if you have a 32 bit OS, um, you're only going to see right around 4 gig. Um, so make sure you have a 64-bit OS before you actually install 32 gig RAM or more than 4 into an HP Z230 workstation. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, we do monthly giveaways on our GreenPCGamers.com Facebook page. Um, you can find a link to that right on GreenPCGamers.com. Um, thank you so much for watching.